hey guys, in the last video we talked about funneling clients to book you. Now they're showing up for their portraits, so let's look at our philosophy of minimalism in gear. Uh, it's necessary for the job, not just everything that you can possibly use. So this is equipment that allows us to take um, a strategic set of mini session images that we know sell really well from a specific distance and allow us the freedom uh, to have specific interactions with the clients. It's all strategic and results are dramatically increased post shoot print orders and heavy referrals. But it's not just about the images. Before we talk about camera gear, remember that your experience and your client's experience during the shoot is going to be just one link in the chain to maximizing minis. Every link in a chain needs to be strong. That's when the system really comes to life and begins working for you like a well-oiled machine. So when you tune into the webinar soon, you'll see that our philosophy of, of minimalism is threaded throughout the entire maximizing mini system. Everything is stripped down to leave only the best and most effective strategies we've tested over the past seven or eight years. Exactly. And the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule, says that 80% of your positive results are generally going to come from just 20% of your effort. So if we can identify the 20% of marketing strategies, sales strategies, and workflow tips that are really responsible for success, then we can focus 100% of our energy on those. That's when your positive results bookings, client referrals, and money making will explode through the roof. When it comes to gear, my best lens recommendations for mini sessions are the 24 to 70 millimeter 2.8 and the 50 millimeter 1.4. Now, believe it or not, it's not the 1.4 or the 2.8 aperture that makes these lenses perfect for minis. In fact, one of the biggest mistakes we see from students and even photographers working for our studios is overuse of small number apertures. Yes, bokeh is very pretty, but small apertures also mean missing focus more often. And that's something you can't afford during minis when we want to create a lot of keeper images in a short time. Those images have to be in focus. Right, so I may actually shoot at five, six or higher a lot of the time, uh, especially because most mini clients are families. And in group shots, the last thing we want is for kids to fall out of focus because the focal plane is way too shallow. And when you get closer to someone in focus, that actually makes the plane shallower as well. So actually, the great thing about 24 to 70 millimeter is the variety of moods you can get from a zoom lens. At 70 millimeters, I can back up and get a classy looking compressed formal portrait. But once I get the shot, I'm going to step in closer and switch to 24. Um, just with the swivel of a wrist and almost um, creates a funhouse mirror look that's distorted and playful. And that's the moment I'm going to ask parents to tickle their kids unexpectedly or let the kids give super slobbery kisses to mom and dad. And the lens mood complements that energy before we move on to another pose. So maximizing every opportunity as we move the clients through a few nearby backgrounds. And the 50 millimeter is just so fast focusing, which is so important because maximized mini sessions are not just combinations of family members uh, smiling at the camera. They're a series of fun posing scenarios that sell because of real marketing psychology. So there are other beautiful portrait lenses you can use, but even the pricier ones won't surpass the 50 millimeter when you have to focus on running kids. It's fast and affordable. We finally got our spider holsters a few years after we started maximizing minis. Uh, for efficiency, there's nothing like it. I have clobbered myself and others with a swinging camera strap before. And yes, you need to use both hands a lot to direct mini sessions without a camera in the way. Mm -hmm. With this, I can holster and unholster my camera with one hand and my body isn't sore at the end of a weekend packed with sessions. I personally love the fact that I can holster my water bottle and all my accessories. I get so thirsty, as Philip knows this very well. I actually start to panic. And all our accessories are close so that we can leave our bags behind. Just as important as camera gear, you want gear that makes your client feel spoiled. It doesn't take that much to create a luxury experience. And throughout the whole system, we're going to communicate quality to clients in ways they understand so they'll spend on it later. You know how good it feels when that rare client really seems to value you a lot? Uh, that shouldn't be a fluke. You sh can create that kind of reaction. Clients are people too, and they respond just as much if you choose to demonstrate that you value them a lot. Big profitable print sales aren't prevented 
um, because clients don't see the quality of my photography. You know, we, we tend to complain about that. Uh, it's true. Most of them don't care about the difference between award-winning and just kind of decent photography. They do care, though, a lot about the emotions and memories they associate with their photos. Step one to show you care, we set up a base camp with a bucket of chilled waters, clean white hotel towels for sweat and keeping germaphobes clean on the ground. <laughs> do not forget that minis are back to back. Never push your luck. Always have plenty of double A's, camera batteries, and memory cards. We found SanDisk to be most reliable and feel super comfortable using 32 or 64 gigabytes uh, so we can keep moving and rarely change cards. Those are some small ideas to get your gears turning. Make minis your own. You're going to play to your own strength and shoot in your own style. We mix it up with a uh, flash to keep lighting even throughout long days, but you can shoot all natural light too. Just choose your location accordingly. And video three coming up, we're going to show you some important mini sessions documents and you can download those too uh, as free gift there. So look out. And if you aren't already signed up for our webinar, click at the bottom, uh, the button below, and you can do that there. Remember, this is just the lead in. These, this video series is the lead in. And during the webinar, we'll be able to teach you all the links in that chain that have allowed us now to make now up to $2,600 in one 20 minute mini session. So now we've been doing this for a while, uh, but our students tend to start the same way we did with $600 or $800 print orders from every 20 minute session. So yes, minis can be even more profitable than weddings. <laughs> yeah, so sign up below and we'll see you there. Looking forward to it, see you there.